Yeah. Hey, just hanging out. We'll jump over here. Here it comes. All right. Hi. How's it going? Welcome back to Unraveled Game Thoughts. Thanks for joining Wasabi and I today. Um, don't have a solo comparison and not doing a playthrough. Just a random assortment of things that are on my mind for this week and giving a, a reason why I might not be getting to the next solo playthrough quite yet. So uh, the things down the road for those solo playthroughs, I believe... Uh, I think I did a session already. I'm um, just looking at my board game collection. I'm not sure if I've done Viticulture. That one might be on the agenda. Scythe is on there. I think Anachrony is on the agenda for the solo. Uh, I don't think I've done Gloomhaven. I don't know that I'll play through it. I might just do my own... Uh, uh, evaluation of that because I've played it a lot so I don't feel like I have um have to do a whole lot tapestry everdell maybe founders of gloomhaven yeah there's there's quite a few um yeah thanks wasabi there's quite a few uh solos on here that we still have uh that have to get to but most of them you probably notice are larger games so that is uh, makes it a little more challenging to get to those larger games and have um, just get them to the table, get them laid out, get them set up. Uh, I don't usually play those games solo uh, because there's just it's more fun to play with others and the the, the table space is just a significant factor in those. So, but things that are on my radar, I did complete a trade recently. This was not in the trade. This is Aquasphere. I have not played this. It's by Stefan Feld, a friend of mine. Um, gave uh, Unwrapped the game from the shrink and then and then asked if I would play it and or learn how to play it so that I could teach it. So uh, we both like Castles of Burgundy. Uh, Aquasphere is a Stefan Feld game. I think I've heard good things about this. So looking forward to learning, um, working through the rules, figuring out how to play that one. That is on the radar. Games I did trade for, uh, and I cannot remember everything I got rid of to get these. Basically, I was trying to clear shelf space, and there were some games that just weren't getting play. Um, Arkham Horror, the card game. I know, I know, it's so popular. I just, I've now owned the game twice uh, by happenstance, because it was included with other trades slash sales. And I've just never... It looks interesting. I'd probably play it one day if I sat down at somebody else's table, but it is not high on my list of games to play. Um, and then, oh man, I cannot remember for the life of me what I, I think Bang the Bullet was one. We never play it, so I just traded that away. Space Base, uh, not bad, but not one that I felt was worthy of hanging on to. We didn't play it that much. We play Mega Land a lot more, and there's a lot of other smaller box games that we play way more than that one. Um, and then there was like two or three others that were just, they didn't get played a lot. Um, so I threw them in there. Uh, so what I did get uh, that I'm looking forward to playing, one is Tim Flowers Paperback. Uh, that's been on my, I really want to try this game out for a long time. Deck building uh, word game. Uh, that looks like a lot of fun. I kind of think my family might enjoy that. I'm not sure. But I do like Dominion, and I enjoy it, and I like that this is in a smaller box and a little easier to set up and get going. So that's kind of cool. Uh, Marvel Champions, Rise of Red School. I didn't really think I was going to get this, uh, but it was a really good value in the trade, and I like Marvel Champions. It's a lot of fun. I don't play it a ton, but uh, I like the idea of a little campaign, and what I really like is that there are five enemies in the box, which is fantastic, because you only get three with the base game, and I haven't bought any extra enemies. And then last but not least, the game I'm probably looking forward to playing the most is Tzulkin, the Mayan Calendar. I love uh, Teotihuacan. I love the guy who, uh, Daniel uh, Tassini, that makes those games. I like his game style. And so, looking forward to that. So those are games... That are on the agenda in the coming weeks i'm looking forward to playing sadly none of these are solo so i won't be trying those out but i also would like to get dune imperium 
and uh, what is it called? Um, the Lost Ruins of Arnak. Get those to the table as well so that I can do the solo versions of them. I have friends that own those, so I'll borrow those and, and try them out. Yeah, until next time, from Unravel Game Thoughts, uh, post any comments. Uh, I've see, I see a few. I know there's some games that folks are looking forward to. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, please, if you get a chance, feel free to visit the, my Patreon page, and I'll try to include that in the description. And have a great week.